हेलो एवरीवन चेत थैंक यूर फ्रॉम मी विद अ पेंसिल एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल वी हैव हैव इन पोस्टेड अ वीडियो फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड हियर वी आर बैक विद आर ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड सम मोर ट्यूटोरियल्स दैट आर लाइंड अप फ्रॉम वाटर कलर्स एंड कैलीग्राफी सो थैंक यू फॉर स्टेइंग विद अस एंड होप यू लाइक टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल एज वेल so in this tutorial i'm going to be sharing one letter each time every week and i'm going to show you six different ways of how to flourish that letter so let's get started so here i'm using a normal copy paper and a smooth paper for a brush pen because i'm going to be demonstrating using a pentel touch sign brush pen um so you can use any brush pen or any calligraphy tool and you can apply the similar rules and methods that i'm going to be sharing I mean to say is you can apply to any calligraphy script that you do or any calligraphy pen you're using so suppose you're using a pointed pen you do you can use a similar technique for copper plate as well and also if you're doing using a brush if you're writing using a brush pen um so yeah let's get started with the first letter so here for the first uh, type of flourish we're going to start with basic entry stroke we're going to write letter a oval and now undertone curve so flourishes are all about extending your basic letter form into some beautiful curves and transitions so we're going to add a nice extended loop to the uh, to the undertone curve here and it is all based on oval so you know you have to uh, have a proper posture when you're doing it also your hand should be rested on the table and stuff like that so you have to be very careful when you're doing flourishes so that it looks in a very nice in a flowy manner so now here's the second one i'm going to draw the basic outline of the undertone from the pencil and i'm going to show you how you can extend it using the pencil and then do it with the brush pen so even if you are not confident on how your strokes are going to be always plan your flourishes before writing on to the final one make sure that your hand is relaxed and you're relaxed and just go with the flow and create a nice flowing graceful lines and curves so the key point is to go slow and be consistent with your hand movement as well now the third uh, way of flourishing letter a is so every flourish can be defined as entry and exit since we have here entry exit ascending descending so that would uh, go for the ascender descender loop letters but here for the a we have entry and the exit point so we have to work at the end at ending point of the stroke or the starting point of the stroke of the letter so here you can take the similar kind of a stroke that we did in the first and the second one and create one more loop to it now let's write it with the pen so it's easy for me to also understand that where my hand would be going and how i'll create the loop oops my hand got stuck in the between but make sure to have a graceful curve and for that you have to make sure that your hand flows smoothly so yeah otherwise i think it looks quite nice and good um now let's move on to the fourth one so i think i'm going to do an entry stroke here so we have entry stroke so till now that the last three that we did are the exit stroke flourishes at the end of the stroke using the undertone so here i'm going to use this entry curve part to add that nice beautiful curve at the start of the letter and then complete the whole letter if you want you can also add a nice flourish at the end of the letter as well but it depends on what word are you writing so here we are just going to add an entry stroke one different style of a flourish so yeah very simple one a big nice curvy loop and then a basic letter form of the letter e so let's now do the fifth uh, style of flourish so here i'm first writing the letter a with the pencil and going to think of how i can do the flourish very simple one like the first flourish that we did you're going to do something similar to that a curve at the bottom so here this is more like a middle flourish this can be used as where your letters are in 
like the letter A is in the center of the stroke or you know you can also use it at the end doesn't matter but yeah this can be used in the middle of the word so I'm gonna just erase the entry stroke part and just keep it simple at the entry part so we focus on one flourish for one letter I just um, try to f go with the flow and extend the stroke and make sure that your flourishes are also about balancing your letter form and uh, making sure that it really stands out and goes with the letter formation and not something that goes off the letter and you know it doesn't keep give that a balanced look to the letter so that is also one of the key points while doing flourishes balancing so now here is the sixth one the last uh, style of flourish something similar to the third one that we have done um, I'm gonna add a little more extended loop this is like the extended version of the first third flourish that we did so this uh, has like more of a complex look more loops to it like an additional loop to the first flourish that we did so you can always look for the opportunity to add more stroke to your flourish oops my hand got slip uh, okay so always look the look for the opportunity to add or extend the curve that you have already extended as a flourish but I'm sorry for this uh, bad looking flourish but uh, I hope you got what I was uh, explaining and uh, how it works you know now we'll see that the formation of the flourishes uh, how uh, and how we should look at it so as you know the flourishes are based on ovals so flourishes are based on ovals and all the flourishing that we do ha we have to imagine an oval inside that flourish so here you can see a nice big oval forming like an imaginary oval so we have an oval here on the second one and something here at the ending part and an horizontal flourish here a horizontal oval here as well and then again similar to this we have the shape which has an oval shape inside it like an imaginary oval so here like you can see it's all based on ovals and you can see that this all the curves and loops has oval inside it and that's what we want to achieve and not a circular form it can be wide it can be a smaller oval but also at the same time you have to balance out those flourishing at, at the same time so you can see it's a big oval that is forming along with the larger flourish here we have like smaller cur curves smaller ovals here we have a nice big horizontal oval and that's about it it's all you have to be patient and it all comes with practice so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you try this do share it with uh, me on Instagram at me with a pencil all the links to our social media accounts is given in the description and uh, also the pen that I'm using the link uh, for it too. Uh, but before trying flourishes if you're a beginner I would always recommend you to first know your letter forms well and then try the flourish. If you don't know your letter form well it will be difficult for you to also understand how the flourishing works and how you can create them so if you are a beginner you can also go check out my beginners brush calligraphy tutorial on my channel i will link it in the description and also on the top right corner of this video so you can uh, check that out first and then come back and try this flourishing tutorials i hope you enjoyed this class and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time